Caroline Kavitka with Java Magazine Live, and today it's all about robots. We've got the Now robot from Aldebaran, and we've got Robot Swim, so we're going to learn all about Java and robots. First, I'm going to toss it to Chanel and see what's happening on social. Thanks, Caroline. I just uh, tweeted out a fun question for our audience, which is, what's easier to take care of? A, a live fish, B, a robotic fish, C, a Now robot, or D, a dog. You can tweet your answers using the hashtag OOW13Live, and I'll be, and you can also tweet any of your questions you have for um, our guests here, and uh, back to you, Caroline. Okay, thanks, Chanel. So my first guest, Guillaume Dantry from Duke's Choice, sorry, Duke's Choice Award winner, Robot Swim. He's got a robotic fish. Tell us about what is happening with robotic fish. Why, why are you making robotic fish? The pro in uh, in customer robotics, there is plenty of robots. You have humanoid robots, like now. You have uh, robots with well, but there is no robotic fish. Only laboratories had big robotic fish as prototype, but okay. there were no consumer robotic fish. Okay. And this one is the smallest robotic fish in the world. Okay. And he's the first commercially available robotic fish, and the smallest, is that right? It's not yet available, okay. but we are working on it. I understand we have a little bit of video. Let's take a look at that clip. Wow, that's great. So that's a large installation of the robotic fish. What, what is the largest installation that you guys have? We had the biggest installation we have was in Tiosu in 2012 in Korea okay. for the World Expo. Okay. It was 50 fishes in the okay. same fish tank. Okay. I think that's where the clip came from, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not the biggest fish tank, but it came from Tiosu. Right. Okay. Now, what about Java? What's the role Java is playing here? We we need between uh, we need the biggest energy possible for a very, very long swim. So we have to put everything down very slow in the robot, so we are unable to run Java in it. But each robot follow order from, from, from a central computer that is running a Java application to coordinate all the robots in the fish tank and make them uh, swim as a school of fish and do very cool effects. OK. All right, great. And what's next? More fish, or moving on to other animals, or mammals? What, what do you think? We still have to finish this one, because uh, we have uh, an application for all, all the installation we made that is using NetBeans. Okay. And we need to, impl to continue to work on it, so it will be a, anybody will be able to use it for their inst personal installation. And uh, we also have to finish. Uh, the fish is not really finished. It's, uh, yeah. Not the last version, we have some uh, modification to do. Okay. And maybe after, uh, another robot, but don't know yet. OK, sounds great. It's very cute, too. Um, my next guest, welcome, Nicolas Rigaud from Aldebaran, also a French company. Um, and they're the makers of the Now Robot. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what the Now Robot does? The Now Robot is uh, one of the first humanoid robot uh, available uh, that is really, really working. Uh, today, this robot is mainly used in the academic field and in, uh, by research labs. But we want to uh, spread the use, and so that's why we are working with uh, independent developers, our companies, in order to create applications for the robot and discover what will be the usage of this robot in the future. Uh, what will you do at home with this robot? We have answers, but we believe that lots of people can have answers too with okay. this platform. Okay. I understand you brought a video with you, so why don't yeah. we take a look and we can see Let's what go. the robot will do. Okay.
That's so great. I am ready to take one home. Um, so Nicola, tell me about Java and what's, what's the role of Java and how uh, developers can get involved. At first, we had our own tools to uh, program the robot, uh, which was a visual tool with drag and drop interface. But we also wanted to work with uh, structured communities already working. And Java is one of the biggest communities. So of course, we were interested in this. So now we have a real SDK for the robot that you can use with Java. We also have other SDKs. But for us, really, Java is something important because we can see it on lots and lots of devices. And we want the robot to be uh, compatible with that so developers can handle this device and start developing with it and making the future with us. Sure, OK. All right, let's check in with Chanel on the social desk and see what's happening. All right, well, I got a great comment from an audience that tweeted, what if the Java fish robot encountered the Java humano humanoid robot? Lunch, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> it is lunchtime it is here lunchtime. in San Francisco, so um, we're quite known for our seafood here. but. Um, I don't know. What do you What do you think, Nicola? Do you think uh, you were telling me earlier, a robot in every home? Is that your vision? Yeah. The, well, lots of people believe in that. Uh, robots are considered as the computers. What today, well, like the computers was in the in the late 70s. So yeah, it will be the next revolution. We are. We know that we have the product of the future, but we still have to invent how to use it, how it will uh, fit with our lives. Right. So yeah, a robot in every home, we expect that in the next five or 10 years, sure. maybe. OK, great. Well, um, we were hoping to have the robot with us, but we uh, ran into a little technical difficulty. But I would encourage everyone to go. Um, you're in the Hilton at Java One. Yeah. Um, in the Oracle demo grounds, actually. You can see him dancing. You were telling me he does Gangnam style, I believe. Yeah. Um, I saw it in action yesterday. Lots of fun. Um, Come see us, and we'll be happy to uh, showcase dances or anything with the robot. Okay. Well, Guillaume, Nicolas, thank you so much for coming. It's an exciting time for robotics and Java. It's a, a great merger. So um, thank you both. Lots more to learn and exciting to follow. Yeah. So um, coming up next, uh, the show of the week, it's going to be Sean Tucker with our own Rich Schwerin. So do not miss that. Stay tuned. <laughs>